What's up, guys? Welcome to another Talking Pool podcast. I'm Anthony. This is Nick. We are here to bring you your weekly nerd news and talk some pool. I just realized that was a little bit That's okay. Yeah, yeah it'll be fine. Though. Anyways, that should be fine. Um, so, to start off with, um, I wasn't going to talk about this because it's the same tired thing over and over again. But then, Rinse and repeat. Yeah. But then it kind of, it, it kind of just kept going. And it kind of snowballed into many different stupid, annoying things throughout the week. So, because of the two tragedies, of the two shootings that happened uh, last weekend, uh, well, I really just wanted the places. Because of the two terrible shootings that happened, once again, politicians and people are blaming things they shouldn't be blaming instead of, you know, the right things like guns and, you know, issues with guns and people having access to guns who shouldn't have access to guns. Uh, They blame the easiest thing they can, which is the media and movies and, of course, video games. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what happened. so the the two tragedies happens, the two shootings, and immediately, Fox, CNN, anyone that will give a microphone to, decided that they wanted to blame video games because you know, playing these games trains you to become a killer. Uh, sorry, Dayton, Ohio, and El Paso, Texas. That's places I was looking for. There was our. I knew it was Texas and Ohio, but I think they were two places. Um. Which resulted in the death of 31 people shouldn't happen continues to happen again we're looking in the wrong places for this um it's just dumb and it i actually i tweeted two things on like monday night after all this went down mm-hmm. like them just blaming this and blaming everything for what they shouldn't and then i was just like fuck it i took it down and then Trump tweeted something about like video games. And I was just like, that's not the fucking problem, fucking moron. Mm-hmm. And I added it. And I was like, that's not helping the conversation. So I, I took it down. I was just annoyed. And like it's it's always the same thing. It's just blaming things. And it's like he was like, there's so much violence in video games. And it's like, dude, that's that's not the, the problem. And like I saw they had some person of some former agent from like the, the CIA on uh, Fox and she was saying like, oh, games like Fortnite make people killers and violent people. And I'm like, have you looked at Fortnite? Because you build shit and you shoot it down. Mm-hmm. It's like overly comical. Like it's just stupid. And you get, you die and your thing turns into a light. Like it's just, it's stupid. And then you come back. Like it's not, it's not you don't get desensitized to watching people die. You don't. Like when we see this, we are still clearly affected by people dying. In the real world. In the real yes. world. Like, a game is a game. Like, if you can't make that distinction, that's but where the problem lies. But that's where the problem lies. Yeah. But again, there is no correlation between violence in video games and any sort of violence in people, kids, or anything. They have done numerous fucking studies and never found a goddamn one. Mm-hmm. They had a guy study the studies to see if somebody missed something. <laughs> and they didn't. They cannot find a correlation. So once again, you're just you're just finger pointing at video games, and it's it's kind of ridiculous. And again, it's just avoiding the issue so they can blame something. Yeah, like to the point where like Walmart, of all people, decided that in their stores right now they are going to pull down any. How did jump so? Far? How did all this stuff come back? I got rid of all this stuff. I cleared all of them. Anyways, they have removed all violent video game advertisements. And if it's playing on like their TVs or anything like that, they turned all those off. All their kiosks where you can try games, you turn them all off. And they're just like, this is us re- reacting to that and being, um, you know, preventive. And it's just like, how does that solve the problem? Yeah. One, you're still selling it. 
Yeah. Like, <laughs> two, you shouldn't be selling this to kids anyways. Mm -hmm. So if they go in there to buy Call of Duty, a violent video game. Which is rated M. Which is rated M. You're selling to them. You're selling to the kid. Mm -hmm. I've never been carded at a buy video game. Oh, neither have I. Neither have I. I just, it just pisses me off so much. It's just so unnecessary. Like, fix the actual problem. Don't blame video games or movie or social media. I saw him blaming social media too. It's like, how? If you want to shoot things, you're going to shoot things. Mm -hmm. Like, I did. You know, back in the day, it was what, Marilyn Manson and rap music? Yeah. Oh, he listened to Marilyn Manson. He must, he must. Oh, call him on, yeah. yeah. It's like, why? Mm -hmm. The kid, the kid from Columbine played Doom. How does that fucking core like to shooting up a school? You're shooting demons in hell. He had access to guns, so he shot things. Mm -hmm. Didn't have access to guns, maybe wouldn't have shot things. Maybe, maybe that's the simplest uh, solution to this problem. <laughs> and like, I get it, we're Canadian. So automatically, when we jump into this argument, it's like you guys don't get it. You're Canadian, and I'm just like, you don't need that. Need it no doesn't. It's not like, it's and the whole thing. The rest of, like, of the world, the rest of the world agrees. Yeah. They don't have the same problems. Well, see, the here's the thing. The massive <laughs> argument was, what about Japan? Japan plays more video games than any part, fucking nation on the face of this earth. Yeah. No mass shootings there. No. Nope. Also, not a gun problem. Yep. <laughs> Again. I understand we're gonna nail it two thirds of our American audience, but it's like, guys, come on, you know the fucking problem. Mm -hmm. It just it drives me nuts that this you're blaming something that isn't really the fucking problem. We just want to keep the the narrative shifted the somewhere narrative else, shifted and it just it fucking irritates it's, it's, me because like it's money. It's we're doing this now, and I'm pretty sure we've talked about this before. Oh, yeah, and we'll talk we're gonna about fucking it do it again because it keeps fucking happening. Well, never the problem never go away. No. And we'll bitch about it for three weeks or whatever, even a week, and then the next thing will happen. Yeah, something new will distract people. And it's just like, come on. To the point where, like, Greg Miller from Kind of Funny, he uh, wrote a thing for uh, the Daily News, like, to Trump, basically. But in it, uh, it's actually, I, I really like the article. And he just says, like, I'm just going to pick paraphrases from it. And he's like, I'm 36, but I'm exhausted from a lifetime of having the argument with people who don't know what they're talking about when it comes to games. Mm -hmm. And like, it's true. And then like Trump said, we must stop the glorification of violence in our society. That includes the gruesome and grisly video games that are now commonplace. It's too easy for troubled youth to surround himself with a culture that celebrates violence. Video games have been around for fucking ever. Well, I'd say 30 years, not forever. But, like, this isn't a new thing. No. Like, it's just, it's like study after study have proved there's no link between violent video games and violent people. Video games are popular uh, the world over, but only America sees the horrific mass shootings again and again. More than 160 million adults in the United States play games, according to the uh, ESA, the Entertainment Software Association. And there is an anarchy in the streets. And then he goes on to say that Trump's attacks on video games are distraction the shell game to keep us focused on the latest scapegoat rather than attacking the root of the problem. And he doesn't want to have a serious conversation about firearms. And then he goes on just like talking about different video games. And then uh, this uh, minority house leader, Kevin McCarthy, um, goes on and he's saying that like he study after study shows that there is a correlation between it and it's like where did he get this study yeah what study is that yeah but of course he would never answer that he would just say keep saying there's a study there's a study there's a study mm -hmm. but there's you can search he would never sources yeah you would never source his study <laughs> i saw a tweet earlier after greg posted this and it was people just like in the industry and everywhere else like thanking greg for writing this and then like some people jump in and attacking and other people were like i googled this where's the study like where are these studies you keep getting these from that say there's no correlation and then everyone afterwards just posting link after link after link after link and i'm like 
what did you Google and search that? Because <laughs> like, if you did it right now, you could find study after study. Like I've read some of these studies. Mm-hmm. Like, um, yeah, he just like he goes on to say that it's it's not just violent video games. There's obviously other games. It's like no matter what your mood you're in, there's games for you. Some look as real as film, some rival Pixar in the animation department, and some are so abstract that you and I completely find different meanings in them. All of them are works of art that people felt they had to make. And it's like, like I, I really like this part where it's like Celeste looks and controls like Super Mario, but challenges players to learn about and deal with anxiety and depression. And Gone Home fl- players find a hard, a handwritten note while exploring an empty house and unravel the story of their sister's coming out and her first relationship. That dragon uh, cancer takes us on a family's autobiography journey through the life of their terminally ill son. Uh, These games and the hundreds like them help uh, players be better humans. Maybe it's an understanding experience they've never had, or maybe it's just seeing that they're not alone. In the end, they've learned something, uh, whether they laughed or cried. And yes, that applies to violent video games. And then he goes on to talk about like spec ops, where it's like it's a military shooter, critically acclaimed for making players question uh, whether or not they're on the right side of the conflict as the operative in the game. And like I've played that game and it does like you do something in that game and afterwards you find out what you did and you're like, Jesus fucking Christ. It's not one of those like where you like you just killed a shit ton of people and you're like, move on to the next thing. Mm-hmm. But you're, it was it was like I put down the controller for a second and I was like. Holy shit. Because, spoilers, what you do is you go into this encampment and you think it's a bunch of energy operatives. So you launch white phosphorus at them. Mm -hmm. Turns out it wasn't. It was just a fucking village that was hiding. And you were lied to type of thing? Yeah. And you're you're also going crazy at the same time because you mentally have snapped. So you think they're enemy combatants. They're not. Mm -hmm. They're just an innocent village that you murdered with white phosphorus. And they make you walk through it. And you're just like, well, that that is something. And then he goes on to talk about Dead Space and Call of Duty even leaning more towards the realistic warfare as opposed to the last little bit. And then he just talks about like how games have actually brought people together and companies making like the adaptive the controller so that disabled people can play the thing. We talked about that before and the Xbox made that controller, so it's it, the way they've done it. And he um, he says, video games aren't making killers. Video games are making better people. Perhaps Trump and McCarthy should try one. And I'm like, I like that at the end because I'm like, it, it's true. Like, yeah, you can be a violent person and play a violent game and be violent. Like, it just happens. I play fucking games all the time. I don't want to go out and kill 50 people. Mm-hmm. It's just, I played video games my entire life and I don't have violent urges to do anything to do that. And I just, I don't understand why this is constantly the argument and it pisses me off that it's constantly the argument over and over. And it's like, maybe you should look at an actual problem and fix it instead of after a shooting, blame this, move on to the next thing until there's the next fucking shooting. And then blame and something else. And blame different. something else. And it's just we like- got the same three things they just roll through, you know? Like, and that's all it's gonna do. The problem's just gonna keep going. And no one seems to want to actually have a conversation because the second you bring it up, it leads into huge, massive arguments. Not just with normal people, but politicians as well. Oh, yeah. They, they still can't seem to decide what the fucking problem is. They know what the problem is. 100%. And they it's know just, what the problem it's is, just but they can't talk about the problem. It's just, it's fucking frustrating. You got to read those cue cards. Yeah. This week, video games. Next week, mental health. And like, Next the week, thing that pisses media. me off, Next I think, the most about Trump. Exa- exactly. <laughs> you know, like, and like, <laughs> Trump is one of the person who just says whatever the fuck he wants anyways, but still believes this fucking rhetoric because mm-hmm. he's an idiot. And it's like, you were the one person who just goes out there and says whatever you want any day of the week, you'll tweet Peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> exactly. Like, and it's just like, but this is the, you still, still believe this fucking stupid ass diatribe on the thing Mm -hmm. and it's like at what point do we get to where the politicians are us who have fucking played this and understand this shit like when do we get to this point why is it still these old fucking people who have no fucking clue what a video game let alone if you sold told them what a ps4 was it'd be a switch 
Like they have no fucking clue. None of them have any idea what a game is. I'm surprised they knew what Fortnite was. I and I bet you because someone, someone fucking yeah. told them they're it was. Told, they're they're like, just told what to read. Someone else gathers the information. And just bullshit information to boot. It's just like, I don't get it. And it just irritates me. Constantly having to fucking read this and look at this shit. And... To the point where like IGN tried to get a statement because someone said that even the Walmart had stopped selling violent video games. Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, we stand behind our statement. And they're like, so are you doing it? And they're like, yes. And then like a few hours later, they're like, no, oh, no, 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 that's not what we're And it's like, what are you doing? To the point where like Walmart, pe- like people were getting super fucking pissed off at Walmart because they were like, why? Like this does nothing. And even like their hunting sections where they show like hunting stuff, they mm-hmm. turned off the monitors. And it's like, I don't fucking understand any of this. Um, ABC and ESPN, um, out of respect for the uh, victims, uh, this is going to sound awful, but like because it's a little crap of what they're going to do. They, they were having an Apex um, uh, tournament that uh, they, Twitch had already like taped and aired or whatever. But ABC and ESPN were putting it on ESPN to show off esports, and they were going to do Apex. But like, they're out of respect for the victims. We're not going to air it this week. And everyone went, "Why?" Because they think it's tied to it. Yeah, exactly. Because they're like, "Oh, it's violent." I'm like, "No." I'm like, "But you'll air it next week and be perfectly fine." Exactly. With it. So what's the point? And someone was <laughs> saying that the thing they did air was like a a look into murders, like of some athlete or something. <laughs> I forgot what the actual article yeah. was, but it was like kind of the same thing just about murder and i'm like how is that like jesus christ it makes no fucking sense and like you're gonna delay that because of that but next week it's totally cool yeah like i understand there are shows that delay an episode when there's a shooting if it's about a shooting mm-hmm. or like something traumatic happens really badly and they're like well, then it's gonna affect the viewership too, yeah people are gonna watch the news and not watching that show exactly like I understand that. That I that's, get. That's why they, they that's yeah. the only reason they postponed shows. They were airing it Saturday at like fucking eleven. Well, I'm just saying during the Apex. week. I'm, I'm talking yeah. during the week when they, when they postponed like yeah. uh, a show on like prime time. Yeah. When something like they only postponed it because they're like people, the world's gonna be watching the news. They're not gonna watch the, this episode this week. We'll just postpone it. Yeah. And then we'll give us a uh, a couple tear jerks, uh, yeah. boo hoos, you know, our thoughts and prayers. Yeah. <sighs> just fucking irritates me anyways i don't have a good transition out of this so it sucks let's talk about the nerd shit we like and not have to deal with this crap anymore because i'm excited to talk about things that are happening mainly titan season two yep saw that trailer came out gave us a really good look at everybody mm-hmm. i was I'm in. I mean, Titan Season 1 was good. It ended on a really good cliffhanger. This trailer seems to ignore that after the first 30 seconds. Batman's British, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> British, balding, and blonde. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They got the, they got the big threes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, like, they're saying he's playing Bruce Wayne and not Batman, so I wonder if we will see him maybe suit up or something. Yeah, they just listen to him as Bruce Wayne. But uh, um, I, I, dear God, hope he doesn't play that. It looks like we're going to see more of the Titans mm-hmm. in this season, and I'm down for that. There's that one shot where they're walking down the hallway, West Wing style, mm-hmm. <laughs> and that looks pretty cool. Yeah. But um, so let's get, let's jump to the end though. Yeah. End of the trailer. Yeah. Deadshot, Deathstroke. Well, we're going going up the reveal. Yeah. For a split second. Yeah. I thought about like. Oh, the suit! See, yeah, yeah. See him wearing his night we will see that. I bet we you at the end it. of this season yeah. we'll see that suit. Oh, I don't even think we'll get. It. Uh, I think it'll be sooner. But anyways, yeah. Um, so Nightwing, yes. Then you get the reveal, and it's Deathstroke. Yeah, looking a little bit like Deadshot. Now I've thought about that, but isn't it that the? I think it's the old Deathstroke costume, oh, right? Just Google. Open up a new page and give me a, give me a Google. Dead Stroke versus Death. That's stroke versus dead shot. I want to see it again. Yeah, yeah. I just was like, what are you getting at here? Dead shot. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Go to image. Yeah, I don't know. 
I know that they look similar, but what threw me off was, was that the, eye the eyes on the wrong side. Yeah. In the trailer, his eye is this eye. Yeah. And it should be this eye. And there was no definitive color change between the two. It looked like one solid mass. Yeah. Like this white one or this, you know. It could be the blackened trailer too. It was pretty dark. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that is the old Deadshot costume. Or the old Deathstroke costume. See, I fucked myself in that corner by saying the wrong thing. But Deathstroke has always been two-toned. Yeah. I wonder if it's just in the dark we couldn't really tell. It was very dark. Mm -hmm. But I like that we did this and Deadpool keeps coming up because obviously they're... The they mix all three together. Yeah. So it's like Deadpool, Deathstroke, and... Uh, the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> the other Which guy. do I said? <laughs> it's confusing. But, yeah. It just... When I seen it, I was like, oh, I wasn't like, oh, Deathstroke. I was yeah. like, oh, that's that shot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, right? Deathstroke looks like fucking the guy on Arrow. <laughs> You're like, wait a tick. But yeah. Uh, it's a really good trailer, though, other than the fact it, like, weirdly just ignores the end of the season to get to a more lighthearted, like, here's the Titans type of thing. Titans 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> More Titans, bitches. <laughs> I would get mad at that, except for if it's hysterical. Yeah, it does. And I cannot wait till they kill him. Oh, I know. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Because <laughs> I hope we see Tim Drake. <laughs> I know. I want to see Tim. I'm, oh, man. I love that. I love the shot. And we're getting, like, we're getting Superboy. We're getting Wonder Girl. We're getting, like, Aqualad. Aqualad. This is, like... Finally, like Wonder Girl, we're getting to a point where we have superhero shows where it's not like wink and a nod to it, like Smallville style, where it's like maybe here's yeah. the character type yeah. of thing. Where it's like even the CW, it's like here's the characters, mm -hmm. but like this one is like here's the characters and they're, and they're accurate. Actually in their hand, that's the character. <laughs> not in this like here's the name. Yeah, and we're gonna change everything. John Diggle is the Green Lantern bullshit. bullshit. Fuck. They're that. they're like this is it. This is he true. was a fucking hired driver and yeah. a babysitter who wait who spent too much time on this show. Yeah, I agree. And it does make me sad that I was on Daredevil because I really like Stephen Amell and I just wanted him to be in things. Can they just add him to other shows? I know he doesn't want to because he wants to be wherever, but can they just add him? So yeah, Titans. I believe is September ninth. Yeah, some early, early it's September. It's early I, September. I, like, yeah. I thought it was September 5th, but yeah, something like that. September, September 6th. 6th. I was close. Yeah. I'm excited. That's really fucking yeah. soon. And less than a month. Yeah. The wait has been long, but not too long. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait. I I'm like I, I say this um like we normally wait till there's a couple episodes. But I will. I'm. I think I might just watch the first one to see what happens, because mm -hmm. I want to see if they do keep that like he's infected till the how far they keep it. Yeah. If it's just like the end of the thing where they cure him, mm -hmm. and also Raven has her whatever the fuck in her head mm -hmm. now thing, and she's changed colors, so something must have happened. Yeah. In the thing, because she looks more like a thing now. But yeah, we, we see, ah, oh, it's just cool. We see cool fights. Mm -hmm. And Titans is really good at fights. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know why DC, I don't want to get the whole DC thing, but I don't know why the TV shit is so much better than their normal shit. And speaking because, of uh, their stuff they're, that's they're, better, they're not making any movies. Uh, the newest trailer for the animated DC side, we got Wonder Woman Bloodlines, a movie I forgot they were putting out. Yeah. Uh, because it's not Batman. <laughs> Because uh, I just put out Batman Hush, mm -hmm. a movie we will review at some point for this channel. Um, but yeah, uh, we watched, I finally got around to watching it. Watched it with him just now before we went live. And from the very beginning, I'm like, okay, they're just rehashing the live action. What the hell are they doing? Yeah. And I'm like, we already got the Wonder Woman origin one from back in a while. Two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I was like, so I think it's going to be a little recap and then we're going to jump to present, which is awesome. And then we see her various villains doing something like they're, they're going to invade the mascara, but mm -hmm. she can't get back there. because She doesn't know how we saw the invisible jet. We saw she on steroids. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some flying wing chick. I don't know who that was. No. And uh, Giganta. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, cool. Uh, true step. It and looks Dr. Good. Poison. Yeah. Who, who was the one from the movie? Yeah. Right? She's really um, cool. This, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
DC animated, like, very rarely has a miss. Yeah. Uh, Batman versus Robin? No. Yeah. I like that one. Oh, that was the one with the talent and the, and the things. Oh, what was the one before that? The one with, like, the one with Deathstroke and shit. Was that with the one with... I think that was that one. No, nah, there was one. It was one of the Batman versus one. It's just not that good. Can't I didn't like a couple of the Justice, like the last Justice League one, like Justice League versus um, something. That bat, that Batman fucking uh, versus Turtles was good. Mm-hmm. Should have just looked at the list of the DC. Movies. That's what I should have did. I thought maybe it would give me a list of the Batman uh, thing. I want to. So. Bat no bad blood. I liked. Harley Quinn is Harley horrible. Quinn is horrible. Uh, Justice League versus the Fatal Five, not good. No, that wasn't good. Uh, I think it was Batman versus Robin. Click on it. Oh no, it was Son of Batman. Son of Batman is when he gets Damien. I that one was. I don't. It wasn't that good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the one because they they fight with uh, with Deathstroke and shit at that uh, refinery complex. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's not that good of a movie. That's mm-hmm. the one that sucked. Batman versus thing was good. God and Monsters was just odd. No one was different. Yeah. Bad Blood was okay. Killing Joke was I, I want to. I got to go back and watch the versus Titans one again. I got to watch the Titans movie itself, the Judas Contract one again. This one, the Judas Contract. Yeah, I got to watch that again. We never. I never finished. I never it. finished. Like, it, it was. And, yeah. Uh, Gaslight was awesome. Gaslight was really good. I haven't watched Hell to Pay yet. I still gotta watch that. Um, I started it and it was one of those ones where I just was like, kept trying, kept yeah. trying, kept trying, and then just was like, okay, I'm, I'm clearly not gonna, I'm meant not to watch this. Uh, also, um, I have the, there's a release date for the box set of the two. Uh, yeah, together. Uh, let's see if it's, I guess it's not on fucking actual goddamn list. But yeah, it's soon when they release the one with them together and with the additional footage. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to watch that one because I watched the two parts separately. So that's good. Yeah, Fatal Five isn't that good. I have to watch Hush Bloodlines coming up. Red Sun's cool. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. I like I like the, I like when they do I like their original ones, but I also like when they do cool like uh ones like this. I would love for them to do Kingdom Come. See, I didn't I didn't see what they had, had released at Comic Con this year. These were just released this year, 2019. Red Sun, Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, and Super We knew when they were doing War. Red Sun, it was hinted at a while ago. Yeah. But I didn't know about Apocalypse War, War and I didn't. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, cool. What's that? Oh, the early years of Clark Kent as Superman. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, cool. Um, Dark Sun, Justice League Dark, though, Apocalypse War. So that's yeah. like Constantine and shit. Yeah. Dope. I hope they get Ryan to do it. Yeah, an animated sequel to Justice League Dark. Yeah. Which is good. I like Justice League Dark. I did. I think it was pretty cool. Batman, we have Batman there, just mm-hmm. not wanting to be there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With Santana and him, though. That was cool. Um, Yeah, I would love to see them do Kingdom Come. I think that would be a cool story. And we're very much due for a Dark Knight medal. And, like... You think we're going to get there? Oh, yeah. I think we're going to get to the wedding. Oh, you think Batman is yeah, yeah, I think we're definitely getting I think, to that storyline. I think people like that storyline as well, because you can do with uh, Bane. There's, there's a lot of stuff with Hush. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. I think we're getting... I think but, we're like, getting you can't, you can't like, ignore metal because of all the different evil Batmans and shit coming mm-hmm. in and, like, having the dark side of the... Jet. Like, you can't... They're yeah. not going to ignore that forever. Yeah. And the Batman who laughs... Mm-hmm. Crazy the, You cannot ignore that for too long. Yeah. You need... Like, DC's pretty good with... Like their fifty two stuff came out relatively in the same year issues yes. as the stuff, so I can't yeah. see them being too far away from this stuff. They've capitalized on uh, Ryan being very popular as Constantine and mm-hmm. bringing back Dark. Um, so and Wonder Woman obviously being uh, popular right mm-hmm. now. Um, I'm surprised we haven't seen an Aquaman one yet. Yeah, uh, like an animated Aquaman yeah. film. And uh, yeah, but. Or something more with Shazam. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, you can't ignore those two things with the wedding and uh, stuff like that. It, what's weird is that they only, well, I guess they only do three movies a year. Yeah, and that would be the three, right? That would be the three Red Song, Apocalypse, War, and... Oh, Bloodlines comes out October 22nd. Yeah. Now, did they ever say if these things were going day and date to the um, app? app? I have no idea how that works. Yeah, because I know they're all on there. Yeah. But I don't know if, like, whatever they said about um, their DC app. Mm-hmm. That maybe I can check here and it was... Click on Hodge, because this one's not out yet, so it only... I thought it. maybe it would do it. Hodge would have the full of any releases. No, it just says it's... Well, sh- digital stream allows, that would it would count. That would be where it was released on... So yeah, but they're talking about, like, iTunes and Yeah, Amazon, but I'm assuming like it would include them. their thing, too. I thought... I don't know. I do not know. But yeah, that's, that's cool. I, I love their animated stuff. I don't want to look at that, because I don't want to read too much of it because I haven't watched it yet. I have Did this. Did I watch that? I have this. I games. haven't watched this yet. The Constantine, Constantine one. Yeah. Games. Man, I gotta get on that. Yes, the animated version film of the web series of the same name based on all his enemies. Yeah, I gotta watch that. I haven't watched it yet. I'm really glad they did the de- uh, redid the death and uh, return of Superman. Yeah, from Doomsday, because like they did that initially, and that it was, was the kind first of okay. Yeah, it was the first, first one. It was. It was kind of cool, but like this one does it much better. Yeah, they were like, we need to go. I like that they went back and revisited mm-hmm. that. That was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I've watched this one. Yet. <laughs> uh, speaking of things that are really cool, the I'm just gonna stay on the CW section. They announced the release dates for the crossover on Infinite Earths, and it feels like they are like trying to do this justice as best as CW can. But like what they're doing to me so far has been fucking awesome. Like who they've announced and what they've done. So uh, they announced the dates of all the shows. Obviously, I like this little gap here. Yeah, there. That's the that's Arrow. Yeah, I don't know why they why they. <laughs> I wonder if I do this, if it just, no, nope, it just not there. Anyways, um, so they revealed the date and times of the five night event, which like, I didn't know it was going to be all of them. Yeah. Oh, you know who else is in it? Yeah. I'll get to that. Uh, so Supergirl, uh, the eighth and then Batwoman, the ninth flash, the 10th. Then I assume is arrow on the Monday, on the Monday, the 13. following. Yeah. No, and it's then, not the following. It's the whole. It's months later. Yeah, it's December and January. I wonder if they're not listing it because they're not sure exactly when. It's no, I back. seen it. Oh, okay. You're, this thing just isn't loading. I, it, it 100%, I don't know why it's not. The first three wonder, air in 2019, and the next two air in 2020. Yeah. See. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Because there was the gap. Right. Yeah. They had said that previously. They changed it. Uh cool. A, a gap for a crossover event. Yeah. Just milking this fucking tit as long as you can. Do you blame them, though? People like us are kind of excited to watch it. Well, I'm excited to watch it because once I'm done on January uh, 14th? 14th, I'm fucking walking out of that room <laughs> so goddamn happy and just thinking, fuck, never again. <laughs> never again. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're saying that Crisis is unlike any TV show event up until that point. And I'm like, okay. But what's cool about it is the keep announcing people and things that are going to be in this. And it's just fucking awesome. Isn't this the article with the fucking... I don't know. What I was going to say, so we got we got Brandon Ralph playing both characters, Adam and Kingdom Come Superman. Yeah, very much hinted Kingdom Come Superman. Very much hinted slash confirmed. Yeah. Kingdom Come Superman. Yeah. We have Kevin Conroy playing an older Batman, most assume from that very same Kingdom Come world where older Brandon's from. I hope he's Batman Beyond Superman, they bring Batman Beyond. Or Batman Beyond Batman and they bring Batman Beyond. And then <laughs> it's sort of just going um, also we have Black Lightning. Yes, for the first time ever crossing over. Going yeah. to be it. They confirmed yeah, it. it. Those three have been confirmed. And they've pushed up his re- uh, uh air date. Yeah to probably get him a little bit out of the way and have him in there so people know who he is yeah that's cool 
Um, those three have been confirmed, and then there's been a shit ton of rumors. Uh, also, them. Burt Ward is confirmed to be in it. He's playing an older version of a Robin. That's awesome. That's cool. Uh, and so far, the other two big rumors are uh, Michael Rosenbaum as Thing, and he said that no one asked him, but like maybe now that I'll get the ball rolling mm-hmm. and get him in it. And the other one is Tom Welling uh, as Superman. The only thing version. is, like, I love Brandon being an older Superman. Yeah. But weird because he's Adam already in this world. Right? Yeah. Going yeah. So, like, I feel like Tom would have been their first choice to play the older Superman, and maybe he said no. So they yeah. Brandon. But he's he's stated on multiple times if they asked him, he would do it. So, yeah. I'm just so saying, I don't know. It's I don't, just weird. I don't know. Because he would have been an awesome older, unless you just have another Superman. We've already got two. No, yeah, let's make it three. And they, Tyler Hedgehog, he- he- whatever the fuck his name is, is in it. Yeah, he's in he's it. He's in it. So, oh man, I'm just, I'm really ex- I I'm not normally excited for their crossovers because they're kind of like, they just show up and they do stuff. And then they shit the bed halfway through. And exactly. And, like, and they don't know how to oh, end this it. Is, and, like, this yeah. is like, a, what was it last year? The, the, oh, the weird fake out. Yeah. But they weren't because they were still each other. They yeah. Were, it, it was, it was, it was bad. Works. And we tried to explain it. It's still stupid. Yeah. But this just like, it seems like they're actually putting care behind this and they're, they're building it and they've laid the building blocks and Arrow. It's, <laughs> it seems like they've also said that stuff. it seems like every episode of Arrow will tie into this. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm just excited for this. this I'm, is I'm cool. I, Lowering expectations just because going back to you get small, to see Brennan Routh as Superman. Yes, again. I want I don't that. Even like I want that, that movie. I want that. I don't yes. even like that movie. Yes, I want that. I'm just going with the idea of from a CW standpoint, yeah. going back to the WB days, uh, uh, watching Smallville for 10 years too long, and just and then going into this and just being like, they they have great intentions, they yeah. have great ideas, but they always suffer in execution. Yeah. Always consistently mediocre. We got just like we got go Doomsday, high, and then they mess that up. They go high, and then they go down, and then they just flatline right there. And it's just like fuck. Like you, you were up there so fuck. You were up there, and then you just drop the ball and fade yeah. out, and that's how it ends every fucking season, every year. And you know, yeah, they, they go up, they come down, and then they flatline the last couple episodes, and then they. They promise you a cool ending of the finale, so it hooks you for next year, and then they do the same fucking thing. It's like, like let's face it, if they just went and grabbed as many actors as they could from Smallville and just fucking posted them there, we'd go ape shit. Oh yeah, you won't go you grab Smallville. Go grab Hardly. You heard. Get the other arrow. Yeah, Have them meet up now. Oh, come on. You heard the Smallville theme in that crossover. I know, and we went insane. <laughs> Like, come on, just go grab him. You probably do it. Just, dude, grab a fucking thing. He's on uh, DC Universe. Have him play Aquaman. Uh, uh, oh, the dude from Blue Mountain State. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have him come play Aquaman. Just go get him. He's he's, he's already on there. He's already around. Yeah, fuck, what's his name? <laughs> Oh fucking! Uh, I, I can't. I just remember Thad. Yeah, Thad. I can't say <laughs> fucking Thad from the yeah. Like just, you could have, you could have Lex Luthor meet the other Lex Luthor. Mm-hmm. Come on, guys. This is fan fiction at its mm-hmm. finest. Just fucking do it. And I like that it's five episodes. It's like all of them. Plus, you have Batman playing Batman. Yeah, voicing. Yeah. Voicing. Yeah. Like yeah. still, when he comes yeah. in, like You're Kevin Conroy is Batman. Is Batman. Yeah, his voice is Batman. And you know, you know, because they're pretty good with this shit. You know it's going to be a cool reveal. Yeah. He's going to be just, it's, oh man, I can't, that's. Guarantee, you're going to hear his voice before you see him. I know, and somehow that's going to be gonna, so cool. Somehow they're going to do it where you hear him coming down a hallway, whatever. Yeah. You know, like, you're going to hear the voice before you see him. I don't even and you're gonna care. Be like, it's yeah. Batman. <laughs> He's here. So go with me on this. I don't even care if they pull up birds of prey. And have someone else play Joker and have Mark Hamill do the goddamn voice. <laughs> if you have Batman just in a scene, but Mark Hamill or fucking Kevin Conroy is talking, mm-hmm. please, for the love of God. Or just have him sit in the chair in a cool back cave. Well, I think he's just going to be older, so he won't be. You won't yeah. have to deal with the fighting part. So, yeah, we're just going to get I'm the Batman. I'm telling you, yeah. if you want to gauge stuff, see how you could get a live-action Batman Beyond open here. Because if it's an older Batman, just have him be an older Batman and fucking call Terry. Yeah. 
It's like, Terry, we need you. That'd be awesome. We get Terry in there. And not going to happen, but his, oh my in God. In his world, though, Terry's there. Yeah. You know, he's not in our world, but in his world where this bat, older Batman is, there's a Terry. Because they haven't got that far yet. Yeah. That'd be insane if that's like a secret oh, thing. And he's like, I got something for you. And he's like, yeah. well. He's like, look, I can't do I can't this, do this, but like, well, I got I, I got, I got a guy for you. He's like, call him. Terry Terry walks out of the shadows or whatever. Oh, fuck. McGinnis. <laughs> Boom. Explode everywhere. I just exploded all over this room. <laughs> Come on, man. That would be so fucking That would dope. be cool. Just do it. You got your little arrow cave. Just redo that mm -hmm. as a bat cave. Put yep. the bat suits in it. Mm -hmm. Terry, come out. That would be awesome if he's like, oh, yeah, I'm too old for this shit, but like, I got yeah. something for you. And then you just hear him like doing the team stuff because mm -hmm. he's Batman and you have to do what Batman says. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Be awesome. Be now so I'm hooked. I'm like, fuck, I want I Terry there. I got, I, well, I, 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 I was already going to watch this, yeah, but I was like, I just, fuck, I want Terry there now. It would be so <laughs> fucking cool. To it'd be nice to have a, it would be nice to have a reveal like that that we don't know about. Yeah. You know? And I get a call later from like the CW. They're going to find that now. And just be like, yo, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, dude, dude that's what I know. Like, yeah. <laughs> that would just, that would just be fucking awesome i bet you we there will be stuff we don't know yeah and i'm excited for that mm -hmm. but just man that may be already so fucking dope. that would be awesome and we've been heard we've we've heard about live action batman beyond stuff since batman triumph yeah i would love for them to use it and batman beyond is big right now he's back in the comics again mm -hmm. i always use that suit when i play arkham because <laughs> it's dope but yeah Man, I'm excited for that. All the rest of this, I'm just like, I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, that's kind of I know right there. Like, for fucking Batman Begins and the Crisis of Infinite Arts are here first. <laughs> um, Future Garfield movies. <laughs> <laughs> Viacom got Garfield, yeah. Mm -hmm. They uh, for they required the rights for Garfield for Nickelodeon, and obviously Nickelodeon's gonna do what they do best and turn it into a fucking kids' property that can milk for a million goddamn dollars. Speaking of products, they'll milk for a million dollars. I watched eight episodes of Rise of the TMNT, and guess what? I'm not watching any more of Rise of the TMNT because that show was absolute dog shit. Is it? It is fucking awful. They, if, I'm surprised they you just, watched, I'm surprised you finished the last animated well, show and started this one. I liked the last animated show. It, it started good, and then it got fucking weird and dumb. And then it kind of got a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But this show, I'm like, okay, it's geared more towards kids. I understand that. If they're trying to something different. Why does it have to be bad? Standards. It's just like... <laughs> All right, so Teen Titans Go, I I don't like because of its over childish kids SpongeBobby aspect. Yeah, but the characters are still the characters; they're just amped to a million degrees. Mm -hmm. This one, they're all Michelangelo at an umpteenth degree, and Raphael is, is just brain dead. Isn't he in charge? Yeah, too? Raph which is in which charge. I'm okay with because I'm like, okay, Raph is the oldest, so they initially thought he should be leader, and then they find out Leonardo should take over as the leader because he is more. Blah, blah, blah. No, Leonardo is just another Michelangelo. He makes fucking all the stupid jokes in the middle of fights, and it's just, it's awful. Mm -hmm. The only character who's slightly close to who he's supposed to be is Donatello. Everyone else is just garbage. Everyone else is just uh, and Mikey. Splinter? Oh my god, they have ruined Splinter. He's no longer their wise mentor. He is just, it's, it's, it's bad. What does and he do? Does he just sits on the couch, him? watches soaps, and does and makes fart jokes yeah. and farts, and just sits in his underwear and like does nothing. He doesn't mentor them. He does nothing. <laughs> it is just a deadbeat dad. <laughs> basically, yeah. It is just it's it's so bad. And I'm like, I'm gonna give. I love turtles. I'm gonna give this a chance. I understand it was geared more towards younger kids. It's just this is just awful. Like Titans Go, I don't like. It's not for me. I get why people mm -hmm. like it. They can watch it all they want. I'm going to watch the Teen Titans Go movie still at some point. And I'm going to watch the, the Teen Titans versus Teen Titans Go because that looks cool. But this this Turtles property, I, I don't know why they did it. Mm -hmm. And I went on the internet to see if there was people who enjoyed this. 
It does not like seem like there is not. That was a sentence because my brain doesn't work. Me no think, me no think good turtle wreck brain. <laughs> it does not seem like anyone likes this show. I see in one guy who was like, I love this show. The animation's great. I love it. Blah, blah, blah. And everyone was like, dude, did you watch the fucking show already? And he's like, about? no, I only seen the trailer. It's like, do you work for Nickelodeon? Like, it, is, it is just, it is bad. It, there's no redeeming quality to it. And like at least with the twelve turtles, there was some redeeming qualities to it, even if it dipped in quality and mm-hmm. stuff. It's people still really enjoyed it, and it still kind of stayed true to the source while trying stuff. I don't understand why you couldn't do both Nickelodeon. Why did you end this show to make this crap? You could have ended that show, made this crap, but then made a good one. Mm-hmm. I keep hearing rumors and hearsay about a live action one. Do we just get that? Mm, probably not going to get that. But this will run for a couple of years and then they'll cancel and just start over. Oh my god, it is just And and they did that thing where it's like two eleven minute episodes. Oh, I hate that. And I'm just like Whoa. That's definitely And they're like, Oh, kids. we wanted to tell more stories. And I'm like, why not just tell better stories? <laughs> you just want to tell more garbage stories? Yeah, like it's just it's <laughs> I hate that shit where it's two eleven minute oh, episodes. And I'm just like that's a hundred percent geared for kids. Oh, one hundred percent. Because like kids will lose fucking interest, so they just move on. Yeah. It's just like I don't know what kid likes this. Mm-hmm. It's just bad. Kids are smarter than that, I think, sometimes. I mean SpongeBob's been on the air for like forty seven years. I don't understand his appeal, but Harry Potter sucks too. Yeah, fuck you, Curly. I said it. I just like to be Curly shit because he likes Harry Potter. Have you watched any of the in review for Harry Potter? No. I want to watch it. I will. I just haven't got it. But I'm kind of debating. I'm like, I remember watching the first seven with you and a lot of people about brains against the wall. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I, I deliberately don't... never played the last of yeah. this. The last <laughs> I have no played. idea how this franchise ends. <laughs> I'm like, does Harry Potter blow his brains out of an apartment? I don't know. So I was like, I don't like watching these in reviews and not having seen the movies for a long time. Yeah. And I cannot watch. I can't sit down and watch. Our They're stuff. not that horrible. I don't understand like how I you, could, how I, you I, just despise them so much. They're like I don't know. I, you watch. You I just don't, watched eight episodes yeah, of yeah. Garbage Turtles, and you're like, I can't I don't, watch one movie. I don't despise them. I just I don't despise them. Mm-hmm. I, they're just not. For, I, yeah. I'm not a fan. Like I just play it up because it's funny. Because like everyone loves Harry Potter. Yeah. And I'm just like I'm indifferent. Mm-hmm. But like yeah, there are aspects in that movie where I'm like. What was the the one that was like it was like six? I railed off for like twenty five minutes just about how stupid it was. <laughs> I think it was six. Maybe. But yeah, like I don't hate it. I just mm-hmm. don't have really look like, But yeah. to watch the reviews, would you watch the movies? I, no. No. no just I'm just gonna watch movies. the reviews because like having them make fun of it is gonna be funny for me. <laughs> what I did get really mad about, because I, I, I watched the trailer because they announced the new stuff, right? We're talking about I didn't trying see to play, that. by the way. I, I, All of a sudden, I was scrolling and I saw that that was their next in review, and I was like, "Holy shit! I didn't know I, they were doing this." It, I didn't watch the uh, I didn't watch the lot the the Disney ones yet because I wanted to watch all the movies mm-hmm. again, but I haven't got. I just I just started listening to the Toy Story ones. So I'm like, whatever. Um, but they did at the end of the last one, I guess, and I was on their which their, would have been Lion King. Yeah, I think so. I was on their Reddit, and mm-hmm. they posted the new one, and the trailer was there, so I did it, and it terminated. Oh, they're doing Terminator. Yeah, they're doing Terminator. And I was like, they're doing Star Wars too. Oh, that so, makes sense. Star Wars will lead right into December, right into the new one. It's Harry Potter, Terminator, Star Wars, and uh, Frozen. Okay. Um, which is cool. Uh, I, it makes me watch Frozen because, like I said, I wanted to watch that mm-hmm. based off Kingdom Hearts because it actually seems like a decent movie mm-hmm. now that the hype is out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna do Terminator." I was like, Awesome! I cannot wait to rip when they rip into shit. Mm-hmm. They're like, "Oh, they're only doing the first two because the first two lead into uh, Dark Fate." Yeah. And I'm like, "You cannot ignore three and Genesis and the other one, yeah, Salvation." I'm like, "Ah, I get the." Concept. What does does Fate come out this year? Yeah, that's probably why they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, it'll lead into Fate, right? Yeah. And I'm just like, "Great!" Now I gotta watch Fate of the. Dark net. Oh, oh dang it. Oh, no. fate of the, I always call that Fate of the Dark Net f- Furious. Like, fate of the fuck. Furious. Um, fate of the Furious Net. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. I can't. I can't deal with this movie. Um, fate of the Dark Furious Net Scoop. Hashtag Rise of the Phoenix. <laughs> I'm just rambling at this point. But uh, yeah, I, I, was, I was very excited that they were going to terminate it. And then very disappointed when they're only going to watch the first two that are good. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah, the first one's aged terribly, cool. but cool. I understand that. Second one's amazing, amazing. and like aged way better. Mm -hmm. But like, oh man, it does suck that they're not doing it. Maybe they'll do the next three. So maybe they'll have yeah. a three week gap somewhere next year. I am very year, excited that they're, they're doing do Star Wars though. Yeah, that's the. Are they doing one. all all six of the sagas? The, the two sagas, the prequel saga and the um, whatever. So Luke and Anakin. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah they're doing everything. Are they doing the last two? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense, right? Yeah. I don't know. It depends are on they where doing, they start. Fuck, are they doing the prequels? They have to. You can't, you can't not yeah. do the prequels. So you're doing Anakin and Luke. Yeah. Well, and yeah, because at least in December, right, they need that many weeks of content. Yeah, right? they would yeah. need... Yeah, depends on where they were. But there's eight fucking Potter movies to do. I'm yeah. just saying, you know, so like, yeah. based on the schedule. They have, they have, they have, yeah. they have what, they started Harry Potter last, last week. Do the six, do Terminator, do Frozen, and then do the Star Wars up in yeah, yeah. I guess they have enough. Time. Yeah, they got enough time because all the way to December, yeah. December what nineteenth or something. Something like that. Yeah. Watch the trailer again. We just saw Hobbs and Shaw. Mm -hmm. Saw the trailer again. I, I like the trailer. It was the same trailer. Yeah, I, okay. I still like it. It, 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 it looked better there. Yeah. Than when we watched. Oh it. man, watching a trailer in uh at a movie theater just fucking yeah. Hate. Um, that Will Smith movie. I still can't wait to see that. Um, Gemini. So <laughs> that nineteen seventeen movie looks really cool. It does, but what did you think it was? I thought it was that movie from uh is it it's Nolan's, right? Yeah. Nolan's new movie. Where it's like it's supposed to be like Inception uh Inception but time travel or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's only in I don't theaters. think that comes out until next year though. But they, they're showing the preview or the, the teaser in front of I think it was Hobbs and Shaw. Mm. But I guess ours yeah, ours did. didn't do it and I thought that's what it was because you were ticking mm -hmm. so I'm like I said to you I was like oh I think this is what's his face's movie but it kind of worked because it was Sean Mendez's mm -hmm. the guy who did Bond yeah. and I'm like okay but it still looks really good it looks really like yeah. well done mm -hmm. I was like well damn but uh, yeah I'm just shot was good yeah it was it's off the fucking rails man it is it, it felt <laughs> a little long at some points it did they could there's probably... like three separate movies in a way and they could uh, cut out about 30 minutes of that movie. Yeah. Easily trim that one. Easily trim it out. It's just over two hours. It was like two hours and eight minutes or two yeah. hours and four minutes. So it wasn't long, but yeah. it felt long. Yeah. And a lot of rehashing. Just like talking about Talking stuff. about yeah. the stuff and getting to the thing and getting the thing. Yeah. And, and like, okay, but how about we get to that thing? How about we get to that device? Yeah. How about we find that cure or whatever? You know like Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. Won't, it won't, really I won't go too much into it because it's new and you, uh, not everybody has seen it yet. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, Disney, uh, real quick. Well, we'll just shoot these out real quick. Um, their their streaming bundle they announced uh, the price for so Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, and Hulu, uh, all for twelve ninety nine. Yeah, that's that's really all three for twelve ninety nine. All three that's for twelve ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, if we ever get this, uh, we won't. We don't probably won't have ESPN Plus or something, but Hulu, I can see them bundling it in for. Um, yeah, uh, it launches on November twelfth, so all these together, ninety seven days out. But that that's insane. Mm -hmm. You know what I thought of the other day? So I was watching uh, uh, Bob's Burgers, which I know you hate, I, but I can't. but it made me think of fuck. That's gonna be on there. Mm -hmm. Same with same with those guys mm -hmm. right there. Fucking Simpsons. Simpsons, Simpsons, and I'm like fuck. I would pay to watch Bob's Burgers every day. So am I getting Disney Plus? If we get this bundle, I will buy this. Because I Disney Plus and Hulu, mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. ESPN, I don't know what we get out of that, but yeah. Those two. That's everything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck it. But then I was Googling like what are their plans for like has Disney again, Disney hasn't said anything. Everything's been renewed for one more season. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, like, is Disney going to cancel Bob's Burgers? <laughs> I'm like, I fucking hope not. This show is yeah. so fucking funny. But, oh. like, oh, uh, what's a, a uh, thing moved to Discovery? With it. Or, uh, uh, not Discovery. I was thinking of Discovery. Uh, the Orville moved to Hulu. Yeah. And I'm like, I watched Discovery. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is. Yeah. I was thinking of Star Trek. Discovery. Yeah, Discovery. Because they compared it to CBS. Yeah. CBS. CBS. All access. Yeah. Which I totally care for. It's not until I watch Discovery. But, yeah, uh, fucking... This this is a, that's a great fucking deal. All three for twelve ninety nine. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, here it's going to be all three for eighteen ninety nine. That's still a good fucking deal. But it probably won't be eight eight 
Yeah. Why? Wow. That's American. Yeah, but still. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's going to be 18. It's going to be like. I'm, I'm capping like 16 right in my tops. We pay 16 bucks for fucking Netflix right now. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, our Netflix is at 16. Well, that's nine. that's like your. Is that the base one? I don't, no. pay for, I don't pay for Netflix. No, that's no. not the base one. I don't pay for Netflix. Yeah. I just do something else. Yeah. I'm a that's fucking, not the base one. I'm a fucking genius. I pay $8 for Amazon Prime and I got to watch The Boys. That show's fucking awesome. Uh, that was cool. <laughs> Real quick, how she's in it. Um, Apex is editing a solo mode for a little bit of time uh, from August 13th to like the 27th. Um, yeah, Apex will be solo. So instead of a team, you drop solo. Oh. Um, people have been asking for this apparently. Um, just to try it out and see if one person can make it to the end. Yeah. Uh, so 20 people, but 20 solo people. Maybe 60 solo. Yeah, 60 yeah, solo. 60 solo, 60 solo 20 drops. teams, yeah. right? 60, 60 solo, solo drops people. to see who can be the Apex champion. Yeah, the number one champion. Yeah. Where do you think you fall out? I will. 45. 45. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you're cracked off that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I get cracked off that. Do you think you'll get that coveted number one spot? If I get lucky. Yeah. I think the problem... If, like, if two kills three and three accidentally yeah. tripped and killed himself, so, like, and then you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa I, I don't pretend to be the world's greatest apex yeah. player. I am the, I've leveled myself the world's okayest apex player. Okayest. Like, I have some wins where I've done stuff, and I've had wins where I was clearly just kind of there. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a win the other day, and I was just there. But there are times where, like, yeah, I, I do really, really well. Well, not really well. I do well. Yeah. Uh, so... The thing is, is like when there's three teams and there's three of you, like if your team gets knocked down and you're the only one left, it's three on one. Yeah. Now this is a lot of one on one fighting. So mm -hmm. once you like, if you get that, just if you get thin the herd quickly, you yeah, can make exactly. it far. Exactly. So today I did a match where we went down initially at the very beginning and my team went down and they did. They left. They walked out because they. I didn't, they were like, oh, I'm not waiting for this guy to see if he saves my banner. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. Which is like just a shit move to do. I hate when people do that. So they both left. So I was running over there, grab their banners. And then I saw they both left. I, I dipped. I was like, you guys left. I'm going to go and see how long I can survive. I had second place. I did nothing. I just hit. I hit. Because I'm like, I can't. First of all, I had no health when I was trying to find some. Mm -hmm. And then like, I'm not going to win a fight. No. I Especially when it was 17 teams at that point. Still. Yeah, still left. I'm like, yeah. there's no fucking way I'm going to do this. So I just, every time the ring got smaller, I just moved to certain places. At one point, it was like, there's 10 teams left. There's 8 teams left. I looked at the 6. Got to 4. And I was like, oh man, I'm doing really well. Still hadn't found a fucking health back. I was still on <laughs> half. And then, yeah. Get, ring gets super tiny. It's me and another squad. I'm hiding in the corner. I'm just like, well, I'll, I'll see what I can do. So I go out there. I shoot one dude. His buddy takes me out immediately. So, like, I wasn't, I'm not good enough. I, I don't have the skill at always yeah. to take down a whole squad. I've done it before. I did it uh, last night. I took out a whole squad, and then we got fucking attacked by another squad, and I had no ammo, so I got fucking destroyed. But, uh, yeah, I can't, you can't always win three on one fights. It's kind of the luck of the draw and how yeah. you're going to do. And I was in a corner, fucking, and the ring's this big. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm fucked. But, yeah, I got second place. I did nothing. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. So, like, can do stuff. Coast to the end. Coast <laughs> to the end, right? But like with solo, I think I'll be much more aggressive where you can just, you can go into a fight and win a one-on-one -on -one battle mm -hmm. as opposed to like any other time where you're not sure if you can pull out the victory. So that's cool. Uh, we saw a look at the Ghostbusters car. Uh, it is definitely the old car. I'm really excited for that. God, I cannot wait for this movie. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see too many like behind the scenes things, yeah. but seeing the car was just dope. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the first trailer. Yeah, I can't wait for that. And The Outer Worlds is coming to the Switch. Uh, so that game we saw at, I believe, E3, mm -hmm. that one that looks like Fallout, done by the guys who did Fallout New Vegas, yeah. is coming to the Switch. I'm really not sure how I feel about that, because I really want to play it, but I'm not sure what I want to play on. Because it would be super dope, because it would look a PS4, you know, really mm -hmm. good, but on the Switch, I can play it anyway. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, what the fuck do I do? And I'm not buying both because they're 80 goddamn dollars at this point. And Nintendo will probably be 90 because they sometimes have a charge where it's more on the fucking console. Yeah. I, which really fucking pisses me off when trying to buy digital titles. Mm -hmm. It's like, why is it $10 more because it's digital Nintendo? Mm -hmm. It's because they're fucking Nintendo. 
Well, then that's that. That answers your question. You buy it on the PS4 and you save ten bucks. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you save ten bucks. Right. Fuck you, Nintendo. Been doing what I'm doing lately with the sales. It's mainly from bro, but you know. <laughs> Oh, speaking of weird things that Disney's doing, for just real quick, because I thought this was funny. Um, they're going to reboot Home Alone, Night at the Museum, and Diary of a Wimpy Kid for Disney Plus, apparently. As TV shows? Yeah. Or one-off movies? Uh, Maybe a combination. A little combination of both, I think. Yeah. And I'm Because, like, Home Alone, I don't want to watch a lot of fucking series. Yeah. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, you can make into a show. Yeah, Diary of a Wimpy Kid is going to be a sh- uh, series. Yeah. Night you know, at the Museum, please don't make a series. No, it'll be a movie. Yeah. It'll be movies. Um, if you could make a good Home Alone again, go for it. Because, like, one, yeah, two, and idea. then they three tried. was okay. Three was okay. Three was okay. Three was okay. And then apparently and then they got yeah. four, and then they got five. And then, they and then there's goals. one where they recast Kevin McAllister. And yeah, like, this continuation yeah, of the story. Yeah. It's like, and they then, tried this. And then this was, this was trending. So, like, Macaulay Culkin made a bunch of jokes about, like, this is how uh, he would be now, mm-hmm. Home Alone kid. And yeah. I was like, I haven't watched any of them, but it's supposed to be. But, like, they tried to do this reboot of Home it just it you're not gonna catch it like but you know what they did but, but here's the thing like they did it but they didn't do like the good live action one they did the directed dvd shit quality they don't care kid they'll put it on for their kid because it's on netflix shit yeah like if you want to make the good movie make the good movie yeah but i mean it's a basic movie to begin with yeah. very basic oh very yeah. basic yeah, movie, right. and you still couldn't recreate that magic that magic is missing. but you could if i think if they tried because like look at jumanji <clears throat> For all intents and purposes, Jumanji shouldn't work because that movie is a classic. It struck when Robin mm-hmm. Williams was, you know, Robin Williams mm-hmm. at his peak. Well, he never yeah. actually peaked, stopped peaking, yeah. I don't think. But they brought it back. They made it work. They got The Rock in it. They got Kevin, you know, mm-hmm. they, they made it work. And look, there's another one. Coming. Yeah. Saw a trailer for it. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So. They're different characters. They're different avatars. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can we talk about this? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we did. We talked about yeah, this in the thing. Oh, you, yeah, you didn't watch the trailer. No, but I have seen the trailer. I now have seen the trailer. And they're that, different that makes sense now. Yeah, because we talked about it. I was explaining. Mm-hmm. Okay, now you watched it. You know. Yeah. Well, guys, that has been the Talking Bull podcast for this week. Thanks for joining us. A little bit of a rough start trying to explain, you know, violence and whatever. But, uh, yeah, thank you for joining us. You guys have been wonderful. We'll see you guys next week. Adios.